Men of Reddit, what are the struggles of dating a very rich girl? Pretending to pull out your wallet when it's time to pay for anything. Then asking. Are you sure? I dated a pretty rich girl. Her dad was a prominent lawyer. Her mom a successful artist. And her uncle was a 1980s pop star. Honestly? They were great people to be around. They were old money and not snotty or overly pretentious. Yes they had a big ass old house and drove quality, not overly flashy, cars. Yes they had whatever they wanted but not at all in a look at me type way. I on the other hand was dirt poor. I mean in the early 90s grunge was a blessing for me because I looked like that already. But her parents didn't care and we're always very welcoming. Her mom even took me to my first punk show. I guess it's true when they say cash screams and wealth whispers. I dated a senator's daughter in high school. Everything was about keeping up appearances and we had to be careful where we went in public and stuff like that. Her parents offered to get me nicer clothes to wear when we went to dinner in public but I felt weird about it. Relationship didn't last long. I'm not good at being political. Keeping up with her. She wanted to go on European trips. Expensive vacations. Expensive restaurants. Etc. She made very good money and I was limited in my funds and had to spread it out. I couldn't just fly to the Caribbean at the drop of a hat. So. In turn. She left me for a guy who could. Semicolon. Edit. Well that took off. I wasn't expecting to hear from so many people. Thanks you all. The thing is is that I have money. A great career. Etc. We dated for 2 plus years and had a great time while together and did a lot stuff. As a matter of fact. She was probably the best GF I had ever had but the underlying thing was that no matter what I always felt this feeling of not being enough. She doubled my salary if not a little more, in the 6 figures. In the end she admitted to wishing I had more financial freedom and that it bothered her. It hurt like hell to hear something so personally insulting from someone I loved. So she found someone who was in her tax bracket so to speak. I dated a girl from a wealthy family when I was in college and I was very poor. The most frustrating thing for me was that our definition of a crisis was so different. From month to month I would literally not know whether I could afford my rent or be able to put gas in my car and she would be freaking out about some, to me, minor social issue or whether a store carried a fashion brand she liked. It definitely made things difficult and I had to remember that it's your perspective that dictates what is a crisis and what isn't. It was honestly a lesson I've tried to remember over the years. If you're coming from a very poor family, as was my case. Expect a lot of butting of heads when it comes to financial issues. I was raised very poor. Now I make a decent amount of money but if I'm ever in a situation where I have a lot of expenses and may run into financial issues. I tend to panic a little bit and plan my spending extremely carefully. My wife came from a wealthy family and she never had to deal with financial struggles at any point in her life. And she doesn't quite care about spending a lot of money. Basically she doesn't think past the fact that we can't afford something. She doesn't think about possibly needing money in the future and that's where we always butt heads. In short. Make sure you ask her to let you know before she spends more than X amount. That was the solution we came up with and it has actually saved us from a lot of financial trouble. Spending should be a thing you both agree on otherwise it's not going to work out. I married one. Nothing to do with my wife at all. She's a gem. It's my mills expectations and image are always the center of just about every single decision. Phil, the real rich person, is cool as hell. Though. I dated a girl in college that came from a very wealthy family, Texas oil money. Like. She flew from Dallas to Florida, where we went to school, in her daddy's business jet. That kinda rich. I think the biggest thing for me was how out of touch she was with everyday money issues. For example. Someone smashed into my car in the parking lot and I was totally upset about it. She was like. It's okay. You can just get a new one. She had no concept of how insurance or deductibles work and she didn't understand that I could not simply go out and get it fixed right away. 
Another example was that she wanted me to go to Miami to see a U2 concert with her. She had like front row tickets. I couldn't go because I had to work. She didn't understand that my boss would not give a shit about how cool it would be to see you too. This was before they sucked. She was always doing something. Constantly going on trips. Or to the openings of expensive restaurants. Or traveling to her parents vacation house. Or getting tickets for some opening night or something. It was frankly exhausting. She had money and she wanted to spend it. And I just couldn't keep up. I say had because it was entirely her parents money, she was in grad school, though she was struggling at it, and otherwise had absolutely no work or experience. Outside of a restaurant. She barely had any life experience either. I lived in a pretty rich area of the Bay Area. My GF at the time was very rich for this already wealthy area. But she truly had no concept of money. Her budget was $12. 000 a month. Her family bought her a brand new Porsche because her car was 5 year old BMW M5. It was honestly like dating an alien. Any issues I had in everyday life were just so far out of her life experience. Edit. He had a trust fund that paid out $12.000 a month. Edit 2. If I had $10 for every person asking if she is single still and if they could have her number. I would have a trust fund of my own that pays out $12.000 a month. Everything was about the family's image. Everything. Didn't last long. Nothing. There was literally nothing wrong with dating a rich girl when I was poor back in college. I had a good major. Was an athlete. And her family loved me. I didn't have money to give her flashy gifts. And she didn't care. If she wanted a Birkin. She'd just shop with her mom. I didn't have money to take her on fancy vacations or trips. We'd just go skiing at her parents condo and I could always find a way to scrape up some money to get myself there and everything else would be taken care of. They didn't care that I wasn't an appropriate suitor at the time. I was just a college kid and must have done a nice enough job of presenting myself that they knew I'd figure it out. It was an awesome relationship. One of the least stressful relationships imaginable. We eventually fell out of love for other reasons. But I look back on that time fondly and we ended things amicably. Still on good terms with the family too. The feeling that you'll always be living on the coattails of the family rather than making your own way in the world. She had no self-realization of our financial differences and how it that means experiences in our lives are drastically different. She lives in Texas and would fly to Nick for the weekend. Go to Hawaii. California or Florida on a whim. When she asked me what I wanted I was always really mega because that's how I live. I don't need the most expensive item but for her. That was all or nothing. Eventually she learned to respect and almost envy my way of living. She enjoyed my simple life. But then it turned out she was a total sociopath so she may not be the best example of dating a rich girl either. When people weren't gifting her things she would just use her daddy's black credit card to get it. She was a very selfish woman. Gift giving during holidays birthdays. Being given a $600 camera while I give you a $50 purse or equivalent gift sucks a lot. Edit. Not rich rich but more than middle class. Meeting the people she knows. It's hard to talk about my average self when my audience is a collection of some of the most gifted. Driven. Accomplished people I've come across. For instance. The first friend she introduced me to. One had temporarily quit healthcare. Traveled the world making a documentary and then spent 6 months delivering healthcare in some third world country. Returning a few weeks before we met and the other had entered into sports journalism and is very quickly climbing the ladder to one of the most reputable newspapers of the nation. After hearing them share these interesting stories about each other. It came to me. I'm sat there. Trying my best to make I fixed up a rental property then spent 4 hours a night studying every day of the past couple months sound interesting. This happens almost every time. Theoretical physicists. Accomplished sportsmen. Artists. And a lot of medical students professionals. Then me. 
a glorified white van man with aspirations on something I should have studied 7 years earlier. Instead of going straight into the workforce with a forklift license. Colon. Constantly balancing their lifestyle expectations with your salary. I went through it as a 23 year old making $42k in Manhattan. A carefree weekend without pro-gaming can blow your entire monthly discretionary income. Girl or boy. Their most realistic fear is that anyone who shows interest in them is doing so only because of their money. That's why the more well off someone is. The more low key they are about it. Those who aren't low key get devoured by human sharks very quickly. I dated this girl while in college. She never mentioned anything. She lived a simple life until I went to her family's place for Thanksgiving. Right off the bat. Her mom did not like me. Me. I respect everyone but if you try me. I go hard. Her mom told me that she would feel more comfortable if she had my social security to do a check on me. To make sure I am not a felon or something. I asked her for her social security to make sure her money was legit and that if me and her daughter had kids. They wouldn't end up having grandparents in jail. We are not together now. My wife didn't tell me about any of the money stuff until right before we got married. I knew that her family was pretty well off. Because I had traveled with them a few times. But I honestly had no clue what it was all like. Like someone else said. Crisis has a completely different meaning. We only live off of what we make now. Any money in any other accounts are for very specific purposes. Down payment for a house. Car savings. I feel very fortunate that I married into a family that knows the right way to handle money and doesn't act rich. Man. I'm just always afraid that she gets the wrong idea. That I'm with her for what she has not for who she is. That her parents can't accept me unless if I learned the same as her. I almost never accept gifts from her which kinda sucks cause it makes her sad sometimes. Overall. It's great if you love her. You should accept the gifts. Some people just want to share what they have with the people they love and it is alienating when that affection is turned away. I once dated a girl who lived in Beverly Glen. Near Bel Air. I lived in Canoga Park at the time. Down in the valley. She would come down the hill and I'd take the bus to meet her in Sherman Oaks. Biggest struggle was getting some alone time at her house. What with her house manager. Parents assistant. And caretaker around at all times. This was when I was 17. It lasted for almost a year. She had to go to college. Syracuse I Ike. Edit. As much as I appreciate this as a fellow valley boy no one knows what you're talking about with those neighborhood references lol. She thought her parents money was her money. Her parents would even remind her that it wasn't. She literally got everything she wanted though. One of the craziest things she asked for and received was a professional full format Epson printer. The thing was the size of a Mini Cooper and made absolutely stunning prints. She also expected everything to be paid for her. She also didn't have to work. Had school paid in full, we both went to art center in Pasadena. Very expensive, her parents paid for it in full. So she had no debt. I'm still paying for it. And she had the nerve to tell me I wasn't doing enough while I was going to school and working full time. My husband's work colleague currently has an issue in picking engagement rings. The cheapest one she wants is you acute 17,000. He makes you acute 25,000 a year. She wasn't super rich. But she had a Kushti media related job and a decent sized flat in the city center with modern deco and amenities. I just felt so insecure. Here's me, at the time, with manual labor job bewildered at the price of food and drink at this place she suggested. You are cute for. 50 a pint and you are cute 15 for a paper thin pizza looking thing. I could tell she was happy in life with a job she loved. Her life was set. We still had a good night in the end. We had a few drinks and the night had a happy ending. We talked for a while afterwards but it just kinda fizzled out. I often thought back to that date and thought I could be like her if I just put my mind to it and get out of this shttty dead end job. Now I'm studying at university for a chance at a career I can be proud of. 
I married way up. I live in a nice medium sized city. The main road. The mall. The parks. Schools are all named after my wife's family. Very old money. When my mother-in-law goes out with us to nice restaurants everything comes to a halt. People whisper. It's a surreal existence sometimes. I've got a good job, unrelated to her family, that takes me out of state pretty often. But I really don't have to work. Although I feel too young to retire. I didn't really have any struggles dating my wife. She's very down to earth. Her family was as very gracious and I never felt weird. I'm often referred to as MR. Her maiden last name. And I've never minded. I figure it's like being the non-famous spouse of a famous actress. Not a man. But date girls. She was a spoiled brat. Fancy car. No need for scholarship at an expensive school. Very comfortable stipend from her parents just for fun stuff. She was heavy into Xanax and would blow her whole stipend on it then whine about how shtty why her parents were and how they never gave her any money. She just had absolutely no self awareness and no concept of her actions having consequences. She only thought about herself in the exact moment she was in. Found out she posted my nudes on her tumblr. While we were dating. Without asking. I had to come across my own tits on my dashboard that had been reblogged a shti ton. I didn't even follow her blog. Broke up with her promptly. And she was mystified as to why I was upset. Proceeded to call me an asshole and months later try to sabotage my new relationship. Pretty sure she still doesn't understand that she did something wrong. Never again. Memorizing all of the lyrics to Rich Girl by Hall and Oates. Had relatively high powered job. Pretty high income. Semicolon. Expected me to want to strive for the same. Consistently harassed me to get a different job. I was, and am, happy at my job. And her type of work would be my hell. Edit. I was a software tester. She was a business analyst. My GF is not exactly very rich but definitely better off financially than me. While I had to work 20h week. Apply for a student loan and be supported by my parents to pay for my education. She got all the money and stuff she needed wanted from her dad. I truly am happy for her and that she does not have to worry about money but it's hard to not be jealous from time to time. TBF she really doesn't brag about it at all and is very humble. Oh and she buys me sushi here and there which helps a lot. My wife is convinced that I'm bad with money. Because I don't have any in savings. She has about 30k. We're now in the situation where I earn the lion's share of our household income but she's still in charge of the finances because I'm bad with money. The bit of the story that I left out. It's very hard to give a concrete answer. Some are anxious about their self image of dating someone from a lower class. While others don't mind. The true answer is. It depends on the girl. In my experience gifts seem to be the language of love both giving and receiving. She would buy me things and tell me how much I meant to her and she expected the same in return. I was by no means poor but my father believed in a strong work ethic taught money management so when I went to college he only paid tuition and said I had to pay for everything else. I learned a minimum wage job makes just enough for a roof and ramen. She didn't understand that I couldn't afford gifts all the time. Also not being able to take her out to eat. To the movies. Out on the town in general on a weekly basis was a big deal. At the same time you can't blame her it was how her family communicated their feelings. We were both young and hadn't lived life yet I haven't talked to her in almost 15 years I really hope she has learned that love is not a gift purchased but as something conveyed through speech and actions to show you so. Finding ways to get into her will. And then making the murder look like an accident. Lack of sensitivity to price. I was a grad student at a private university. Dating an undergrad. So her family was loaded and I was making like 18k a year. Go to a restaurant. She'd always pick nice places. And boom. A petizer. Drinks. Most expensive thing on the menu. Without even second thought. Not maliciously but just because that's what she wanted. But then since I'm the guy I'd pay. 
Like bitch I have $25 a week for groceries what are you doing? I have literally no idea. Disconnect about what sharing really means. And why it's important. Very early on we moved in together. And beside me having to hide my stuff when I was there. There is one story that sticks out the most. I bought a case of beer. A 2-4 for my fellow Ontario folk. Put it in the fridge because we had some guests come over for dinner. Now it's university days so people are not rich by any means. I worked a high paying summer job so I was happy to share my spoils a bit. Everyone who came in could have a few beers. And I was happy to share it. At the end of the night. She was upset. She finally asked me why did you give all our beer away? She didn't even drink much beer. She had all the wine in the world. I was shocked. I explained my reasoning and she was still pissed. This should have been a red flag. This behavior never really changed. I stuck it out 7 years. I do authentically regret trying to make it work.